Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, Okaboji Market Update. We are at Snappers, which is an extension of Parks Marine and the Barefoot Bar. Beautiful restaurant right here. Yes. My, I'm Jimmy Mac Lenz, along with Rob Hinn. Rob Hinn. And this is Gracie Hinn. Yes. <laughs> so we're the youngest. There we go. Yep. We're, we're so excited to have you along, Gracie. Uh, by the way, we want to make sure that you check out all of our information and our videos. Where are they going, Rob? Go on to YouTube, smash that like button, and subscribe. You bet. We also got everything on Facebook. We definitely appreciate all the viewership, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, you name it. We have, like to have a lot of fun with our videos. And plus, they're full of information like what we're going to lead into. Yeah. So, but first, Snappers right here. We shot here probably two years ago. Probably, We've yeah. We've been doing this two years. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. <laughs> Uh, we thought we'd come back out here and show you kind of the outside vibe. Yep. You know, so, it, it's pretty cool. They got these big windows that open up, and I think they just replaced the, or got a new menu here recently. Uh, so they've updated that. So if you've been here in the last few years, they still had great food back then, but now they added a few, couple things. I think they took some things out, but they're it's pretty good. I've been on here a couple times to eat, and everything that uh, that's new on there, I've enjoyed. Right. When they first put this together, it's kind of like, why is it way, so way set back? Uh, you kind of, you know, kind of had to scratch your head because the Barefoot's been so successful. Yeah. Uh, but it's kind of unique because it actually is a boat storage building. Yep. But it also has an event center up top. Yep. And then there's actually a third floor. It isn't even developed yet. Yeah. But the big thing is, is when you sit here, the view is spectacular. Yeah. What we're looking at right now is it's worth the visit. It's yep. just, it's you can cool. sit here and, and have a cocktail, get yep. some food, and you get a beautiful view of East Lake Okoboji. To watch a little bit of the boat action, a lot of the hard-working folks right here. If you want to be in the sun, you can be in the sun. If you don't want to be in the sun, you, there's a great covered area here, even mm -hmm. upstairs, too, for the event center. That's yep. great. So, so private parties, yeah, they do a lot of weddings, private parties, you name it. Yep. Uh, but this place is hot at night. Yeah, it is. And I mean hot with activity. So yeah, lunch, yeah lunch times are really busy, yeah. too. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, it's a really, really fun place. So we highly recommend you stopping by here mm -hmm. and try out that new menu. So yep. let's talk market update <clears throat> locally. Um, I'm going to pick on Gracie just a little bit yeah, here. Gracie's brand new. When did you get your license? About a month ago. About a month ago. Yeah. Okay. What sticks in your mind uh, with real estate? What did you take from real estate class? Um, know what you don't know what you don't know. I think that's the most important thing I've learned because you don't want to make something up to a buyer or whoever you're showing and then have it be wrong and you can catch yourself in a lawsuit there. So, yeah. <laughs> know what you know and know what you don't know. That is, you talk about perfect advice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, don't, don't, don't try to shade anybody, yeah, right? No, yeah, no. That's, that's, that's perfect, I love it. So Gracie's uh, getting in the family business and that's what we love, it's, yeah. it's a family business. Uh, we got a lot of great real estate companies in the area, but Hen Real Estate, the oldest in the area and yeah. we're pretty much it's just, a, it's a nice family vibe. Yep. We enjoy it very much. So, Rob, once again, let's talk market update a little bit and locally and nationwide. When we're talking about buyers uh, looking at properties, when they put a time limit on it, yep. and they say, hey, I'm, I'm putting an offer on this house mm -hmm. and I need an answer by 5 p.m. this afternoon. Mm -hmm. I think Why the, is that? The, you don't, you want to be the first one in, obviously. Um, you want to have the opportunity to where you're the only one bidding on it and not a multiple people bidding on it. And we've been dealing with this, and I've noticed this just in the last week, more so than in any other part of the year. And we're getting into a market where interest streets are going up a little bit. So maybe the buyers are slowing down. Uh, on my, instead of having 10 buyers, you might only have three or four. But sitting back, and if you find a property and you really like it and you're thinking about it, and you think, well, let's just let's wait to see if they get any more offers. Well, that's really not the right thing, the mindset to have, because you're inviting yourself to spend more money on it you're inviting to have competition on trying to buy it you don't you want to avoid that you want to get in there and get it going now is there a little bit more negotiation now than there was maybe six months ago yes there is but you still don't want to invite yourself to be working with multiple offers get in there and get it done absolutely if you love the property yeah why not yeah so i mean yeah, we run into this situation quite a bit where it's just well if, if it happens it happens well this day and age not anymore yeah Right now, you got to get it. You got to get it. You got to get it. You know, markets will change, but they, that might be another year or two down the road before they change. But you know, the property's on the market now that you really love. Go right. for it. And get that, price your perfect home. <laughs> there you go. More advice from <laughs> yeah. yes, from the, the youth one. of the world, man. <laughs> they gotta love it. Gracie, thanks so much for yes. joining us. We really yeah. appreciate it. So yeah. you'll see more of her. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get her cutting her teeth and videos and having a good time with us. But yeah, once again, we just can't emphasize that enough. When it comes to buying, 
you know, put your offer in, just get it, put a time limit on it. Sometimes it's a little stiffer. Yep. Some people want it in two hours, but usually kind of the common, I think the most common thing is about 24 hours for a response. Yep. Uh, but when properties are hot, you, you probably want to push it a little shorter. Push it shorter. Mm -hmm. You have better opp opportunity to get, in it, get it taken care of. Right. And once again, can't emphasize it. If you want it, get on it. So get here, on it. Yeah. here in the Iowa Great Lakes, a lot of questions. I'll just wait until that comes along. Well, do you like it? Well, yeah, I love it. Don't wait. Don't wait. <laughs> there we go. Best. You'll pay more money for it. There you go. Best advice we can give, ladies and gentlemen. And once again, don't forget Snappers right here by Parks Marina. Just a little bit off of the uh, Barefoot Bar over here. Mm -hmm. Fantastic place. Fantastic food. Great staff and a lot of fun. Open year-round as well. Yep. So thanks for joining us. I'm Jimmy McLenz, and I'm all about you. I'm Rob Yen to say something nice to somebody. Make them feel good. <laughs>